Hello caffeine fiends and welcome to another equipment review for www.getbeamed.com and something slightly different today. Today I'm looking at an AeroPress. Now many of you will be aware of the AeroPress. It's a type of uh, filter for filter coffee. Um, you basically add the coffee and water, stir the brew and then the pressure. It's like a little air pressure, a bit like a cafetiere. And you kind of force the coffee out. Um, and I've never had an AeroPress of my own, so this will be quite exciting because it will be the first time I'll get to kind of play with these. So I bought myself an AeroPress from Dark Arts, which cost me about £20. And I've also got the Christmas bl blend from H.R. Higgins. So this will taste of milk chocolate, orange, brown sugar, red berries. Um, so I'm going to give it a go. I've chosen this uh, because it's the Christmas period. Um, it should be quite a versatile coffee, so uh, you, you're kind of hard pressed to find coffees that say this is good for AeroPress, but it, this recommends filter, so uh, that should be good for it. So let's dive in, open this up and see what it comes with. One to three cups of coffee, espresso or cold brew in about a minute. So that will be good. Now this will be good hopefully for travel, that's for stirring your coffee uh, and going out and about. It's less fragile than a cafetiere, it's not glass, it's all plastic. So uh, I'll be lending my cafetiere to uh, my good friends at uh, the Aimless Nation channel uh, this Christmas as they will be away. They'll be down here uh, away from their lovely Deloitte espresso machine, so that's everything. So, filters and filter holder. That's the main chamber, I guess. Uh, presumably that's where you put your filter and the instructions. So, let's see. Uh, my Spanish is not up to much. Right. Push plunger out of chamber. Oh Put filter in the filter cap. So this looks like a filter cap. This looks like filters. A nice little filter holder. So. Oh. God, I can't get into the filters. Then comes with a few filters, of course, so that's quite nice. Right. Put the filter into the filter cap. Nice, incredibly thin, incredibly easy to deal with filters, which is also nice. You're not peeling your filters. You're not peeling anything open. Twist the cap onto the chamber. Uh, with this spit, yeah. And chamber on sturdy mug. Shake to level coffee. Add water. So it should go in. Ooh. Aha! And you put it in, plunge down when your coffee's in. So let's go grind up this coffee and get us some aero breaths. Great, there is our ground coffee, so we will continue with the process. So stand chamber on a sturdy mug. There is my sturdy mug. Chamber stood. Uh, and put one rounded scoop of fine drip grind into the coffee chamber. Now, I have my AeroPress grind from my grinder. It has a specific AeroPress grind. And then here is my one rounded scoop. Let's try not to get this everywhere. There it goes. Easy peasy. Lovely. Um, straight to level four. Is that level? I reckon that's level. Now I need to add water, stir for about 10 seconds for hot brewing, and then plunge. Right, so let's go boil the kettle. Ok, 
kettle foiled. Uh, so I'll let it cool a little bit because it should be about 80 degrees rather than 100 degrees. Um, stir for 10 seconds for hot brewing. What's really good about an AeroPress tells you how many cups you're going to make. So one scoop, fill out for one, brilliant, one cup for me. And then we insert the plunger, plunge down and press gently, pausing when you feel resistance until the plunger reaches ground. Cool. Right, let's do this. Need the water to reach the one mark. There we go. So that is enough, apparently, for an espresso style coffee. So, stir for 10 seconds. Oh, the smell coming off of that is fantastic. I reckon that's about 10 seconds. Right. Here we go. Insert plunger. And then press gently, pausing when you feel resistance until the plunger reaches ground. Oh, you can hear it being forced out by the air pressure. A magnificent hissing sound. And this is a great way to get espresso coffee if you're camping or out and about. Has that hit the ground? Is that done? Does look like it. Fantastic. So, nice. Very strong black coffee there. I'm going to top it up with a little bit of hot water just so it's not too extreme. We'll give it a go. There's Americano, we'll let that cool. And then give it a try. So here we go. Hopefully that is cooled enough to drink. So we're looking for what? Milk chocolatey tones, orange tones, red berry tones. Uh, basically a Christmassy feel to it, still quite warm, it smells magnificent, it's a very simple way of getting, it claims it can do American coffee, so that's an Americano, espresso style, so it comes out espresso style, supposedly espresso strength, you can do latte basically by adding milk, and you can cold brew as well from this, so I think it's the same manner, but you stir for a bit longer, perhaps add a bit more water. Um, but this is a really great, simple way of getting sort of espresso style coffee. I don't think anything matches up to a genuine espresso machine, but I think it gives you a bit more thickness and texture from what I remember than a cafetiere. So here goes. Oh. That is lovely. So you don't get the same sort of rich oiliness as you do as an espresso machine, but there is more texture, there is more thickness, there is more mouthfeel than a, than a cafetiere, which can be a little thin. Um, and I think that is really great. It's really simple to use. And then cleaning is just taking it out, taking those grounds out and then washing it through. Um, so yeah, I give that a thumbs up really, Looking forward to using that more in the future. Certainly when I go away places, I will just be packing my AeroPress. Again, all plastic, so not as fragile as a cafetiere. I've definitely broken my fair share of cafetieres on camping trips and whatnot. So really good equipment. Really glad I finally invested in one and I'm looking forward to using it in the future. Thank you very much. Take care. Uh, hit those like and subscribe buttons and we'll see you real soon. Thank you. Bye bye.